Hey guys, I'm Ricky Taylor, and I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this. Perfect look for a competition. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a Ricky. Today we're going to be doing another competition makeup look. I don't really know, first of all, I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out, so I don't know what to call it. But hopefully it will be another universal style that you can use for ballroom and for Latin. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. And it is a gray and rainy outside today in Brooklyn, and I'm sitting on the floor here in my room on this lovely morning. Excited to film for you guys because I haven't filmed in a hot minute. There's just been so many things going on in my life, and it's so hard to actually find time to sit down and do this. So enough babbling. Let's just get started. Okay, so step one to this makeup look is that we have to do our base. So in order to do that, we're just going to put our hair back. But today I'm going to be starting out with my Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I'm just going to take some on my hand, mix it up, and put it on my face. So, when we're in a competition, obviously we're trying to look flawless. And my skin is far from flawless. So, next I'm going to be taking the NARS Light 1 Chantilly Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm just going to be spot concealing with this. And I'm going to be putting it on any spot that I want to cover up. Next, I'm going in with foundation. I'm going to take L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I'm just going to take two pumps of this. And now that we look funny because we have foundation dots all over our face, now we're just going to blend it in. Next, I'm going to be going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. I'm in the shade Porcelain. Just blending it out. Now we need to set. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder because you know it's just it's great. I'm going to take it on a Real Techniques setting brush, and this is perfect for the under eye. And I'm just going to quickly set under my eye. Okay, we are set for the gods. Now moving on to the face. So we want to have a very sculpted bronzy look on the competition, or at least I'm always trying to achieve that. I'm going to take this Tarte Rainforest After Dark Colored Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. That's a long name. Taking this kind of bronzy contour shade. Okay, now that we are bronzed and contoured, we are going to go and blush up the face. I'm taking that on a Morphe R14, that right on the apples of my cheeks, blending it to the contour. Now our face is ready to go and we're going to move on to the eyebrows. Next I'm going with the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. And I'm going to be taking that on a Sigma Small Angle E65 brush and we're going to be tinting our brows. Okay. Now the brows are done, now we can move on to my favorite part which is the eyeshadow. Because we did our face first, and now we're going with our shadows on top, we really want to make sure when we're using the shadows that if there is any fallout, it doesn't mess up our foundation. And I'm going to take my loose Cody Airspun powder. We're just trying to protect the under eye area from any fallout. Today I'm going to be using the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. I'm going to be taking this first shade, putting it right in the crease. Now I'm just going to go in with this kind of, I don't know how to call it, like a camel -y brown, not caramel, camel, like an actual, like, you know, the animal, <laughs> more of a camel -y brown shade. Again, I'm just going to take the black in the palette and tucking it right in that outer corner. Okay. 
I'm gonna be taking this orangey color and mixing it with a little bit of this red color and I'm gonna put it on the inner half of my eye. Now that we have that down, I'm gonna be taking the black shade one more time in that palette and I'm gonna be kind of creating a shadow liner. This type of brush is really great to get right against your lash line. And I'm gonna go put on some mascara and throw on some lashes and I will be right back. Bam! The lashes are on. I know I look crazy because we have nothing on the lower lash line so we're gonna get to that right now. So first going in with this shade and I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this shade. On a fluffy brush and all along my lower lash line. Next, I am taking my Morphe E18 brush and I'm going to go in with this reddish brown. I'm going to waterline with my Lancome La Creme Coal. I'm sure I said that wrong. We are almost done, I promise. I I am going to go in with my NYX eyeshadow base to take a little bit to really bring some pop to that area I'm gonna be taking this fine glitter dust by Barry M this is in the shade 15 and I'm just gonna take what's in the cap on that same brush And final step for, actually, I lied, this is not the final step. <laughs> the second to final step, I'm just gonna throw some mascara on my lower lash lines using that same mascara that I did on top, and this is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Now, the final step. For my brow bone highlight, I'm just gonna take a little bit of champagne pop and pop it on that brown bow. I'm going to take more of that champagne pop because, you know, it is life. Last step is lips. I want to kind of do an orange tone red today just because I really want to tie in the warmth from the eye. I am going to go in with this Kiko Milano Creamy Color Comfort Lip Liner. See, and on top of that, I'm going to go in with my NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. Now as the final, 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 final step, I'm using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist Prep and Set Spray. This is super important to do on a competition. I guarantee it will make your makeup last much longer. I feel like a beauty guru when I'm doing this. Okay. Ooh. 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 And that, guys, brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this look. And I hope it can help some of you guys for competitions. Oh, I also forgot. I actually started a beauty Instagram. A beauty Instagram. <laughs> I mean, I did start a beauty Instagram, but I started a beauty account on Instagram, and you can go follow it at rickyt.beauty. So my personal is ricky.taylor. My makeup Instagram is rickyt.beauty. And it would be really cool if you guys followed me on there because then you could see more pictures and videos of me doing makeup. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there because I made it like last week. So yeah, but that is all I have for you today. I will see you on the next one. Bye.